Well, welcome back. You, you know what this is about. <laughs> I broke down and finally bought the Black Max 4 cycle 18 inch string trimmer from Walmart. I looked at this last year. I really, 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 really wanted it last year. And I really, really, really talked myself out of it. Um, I wish I'd bought it last year. I think it was like 140 last year. Now they're 200. And so I looked at this one, I looked at steel, I looked at um, Hus Husqvarna, Echo, and this was 200, 196. And for the same size, this has a, I believe a, don't get me lying to you, let me see if I can see. I wanted to say 38 cc. I haven't opened it. I just got here from Walmart. Oh, let's see. Uh, not very heavy. Not as heavy as I thought it would be. Um, that's an inspector number there. That's pretty cool. Okay, I don't see the CCs. I read someplace or I saw someplace. I'm thinking 38 cc. I'll let you know if I'm wrong. Um, and so when I started looking at Echo and Steel and all that, their $200 trimmers were 20 cc's or 25 cc's. I'm like, ugh, that's really, that's really, really, really a lot smaller engine. And that was a deal when, with my Black Max chainsaw. You know, everybody said, oh, you should have got an MS-171. Well, MS-71 is a smaller saw. Why would I pay more for a smaller saw? And so, um, anyway, why would I pay double for the same size? I know, I know. Oh, well, yeah, it's steel quality. And it's husk varnish quality and all this. And there may be a little to that. But I tell you what, it costs a lot more than that. That's that orange paint. That orange paint is really expensive. And I just don't feel like paying for orange paint. I don't. You know, a buddy of mine, his, him and his, his family were farmers. Um, and I asked his dad one time, his dad had like one or two John Deere's, and the rest of it was Aaron Astles and Massey's and stuff like that. I said, I got me, I ain't got more John Deere's. He laughed and he said, boy, he goes, that green paint is expensive. <laughs> oh, I know what you're saying now. So I knew so that's, a, that's the same way with that orange paint on them chainsaws and stuff. That's expensive paint. So anyway, you're seeing this as I'm doing it. I hadn't opened this before. I went to Walmart. I'm always, when I go to Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot, and I buy something like this, I'm always trying to see if they've been opened before and somebody returned them and, and the store just put it back on the shelf because that happens a lot especially at Lowe's um, and so I had all these they had like six or seven I had them all out in the aisle looking at them trying to make sure and I couldn't tell heads from tail all of them had tape on them so if, if they had been open returned the store did a heck of a job um, taping them up and of course, if there was one there that had been opened and returned, doesn't matter. I'll, I'll get it. It doesn't matter. So, um, whoa. Okay, I don't know if that was the best way to open it or not, but here we go. It's kind of a triangle box for one thing. I don't know if I got enough view. Okay, there we go. It does come with a line. Trimmer head looks like it's already pre-filled. Are y'all seeing that? Come here. Woo! Um, instructions on how to load. Load the. I'm sorry for the wind. Been out 12 days. Finally got home. 
the wind blowing. And this, I know this is for the guard, it has to be. So let's just put that to the side. Now this does take attachments and that's why I did buy it because I'm going to need the brush attachment. But I'm wondering if I just can't remove that head and put a blade on there. Uh, rather than by the attachment, see this is, see this tells me it's been opened before. I didn't do that. So it probably tells me I'm missing something. Of course, you know, there again, if it can be done, comes with four cycle engine lubricant. And somebody just ripped this open. They didn't. Huh. This looks like baling twine. There's probably a little part in there, some rum skull needed. And I'm going to look at it and try to see if. Okay, I guess this is the funnel for the engine lubricant. Uh, instructions. You got the instructions. It's been crushed or something, so let's let's take it out and see if it's jacked up or not. If you got scrupulous people who will buy this stuff, take it home, get a part out of it, and take it back. No, oh, it didn't work, man. They're thieves. They're called thieves. You need a damn part, just go get the damn thing. Okay, power head looks good. Don't see no cracks or busting. Gaskets. Looks like engine oil goes right back here. I'm just guessing. That's good lot. That's good lot. This kill switch. I don't know what this is. I'll probably attach the harness. Attachment capable. Yeah, you can buy different attachments for it, like, you know, uh, limb saw and stuff like that. Which I might get one of those too. That would become, well, never mind. I, I'm not going to say what it would come in handy for. Choke looks good. What is the throttle cable? Don't see no gas in it, so. Okay, I'm reasonably satisfied that at least this part hadn't been returned. Uh, no gas in it. Clean. Um, let me see what's supposed to come with this. That's what I was looking for on outside the box. Because that, you know, that's, okay, that's kind of look, look like bailing wire too, okay. 30 cc, okay. I was thinking it was 38. This says, maybe it was the, the two cycle that was 38. This is 30 cc. Uh, I don't see the thing that tells me what it all comes with. Don't have my glasses on, so even if it was there, I probably wouldn't be able to read it. These are instructions, so. I'm going to put this thing together. Apparently all you do is I'm going to put it together and bring you back and summarize putting it together. So, um, because probably all you do is put the weed eater attachment on, put oil and gas in the engine, and you should be ready to go. I still want that list of parts or something that comes with this thing. But, um, so, 30cc. Now, Honda makes one that I was wanting to buy off Amazon. But, there again, it was twice as much. And I just, um, instructions on how to start it. Okay. 
Well, I'm going to um, I'm going to put this together and we'll come back. Okay, there's your guard. You have a slot up in here that this go this tab goes into. So you just I just rotated it around there that way and got her in. There's a in a metal insert, threaded metal insert here that in this that will hold your guard on. Okay, what is this? Oh, it's probably okay. I could understand that. That this sp little spring-loaded tab here, quick center, probably to hold it up is what I imagine. I'll probably never use that again. See, this has some grease on it, so smart idea. I imagine your tab has to go. Now you see the end of the shaft right there. I'm going to guess we have to match that up with the uh, shaft here. And I'm looking. Okay, there are holes in this. Not this part, but here that that will snap into. Maybe. I guess I could loosen that up, but looks like Austin's going to loosen up right there. There we, there we go. Ah, right, wait a minute. Let's see. I'm thinking that that might be where that, yeah. There's also a similar, I, the only reason I thought someone had bent that out is because it's bare right there, like someone, but I think it's supposed to be that way. See, it helps that tab go up in there. And this needs to turn. I don't want to, yeah. I see. Okay. Okay. Proper tool, right, for the job? Okay, that tab is going to go in that hole. Right like that. See it? So this outer sleeve has to match with that hole in the inner shaft. And you would tighten it up. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. Let me see if I got it right here. I may need to turn it a little bit. That looks kind of chintzy right there. But, you know, worse comes to worse. You get your own bolt with a couple washers and a nut. Let's see. This is going to go just like that, folks. Yep. Okay. Well, that was easy enough. Well, let's just see. It's going to start up. I guess I better put the oil in there first. It does not come with oil in it. Probably why they give you a bottle of oil. There it is. I could have had this all laid out, been professionally done, but you know that's not how I roll. People go and they open the box and they get everything. Oh, this is a this is an unboxing. I've never opened this box before and everything's just perfectly there. Yeah, right. Okay. Okay. Put no oil in. It doesn't like come out of there very fast. Well, let's just see. Surely it has to be. Here's my little hummingbird. Oh, he's a different one. Hummingbird is like in competition with a bee. Oh, he left. He said, screw it. I ain't going to get stung over food. So, something about read the instructions before you begin. Who's got time for that? Ain't nobody got no time for that. I need to go in town and get some. Yes, it doesn't have ethanol in it. This has a little bit, or this has ethanol in it. So I won't, I won't put too much in it. Just enough to try and get her started. 
I hope y'all see. I don't think you can, but I'm putting gas in it right now. Didn't take much. Good thing because it has ethanol in it. What I keep in the back of the pickup. Okay. As you can see, it has gas in it. Can you see? Okay. Full choke is what the instructions say. Press throttle. Set the full choke. Pull starter rope until, oh, press the bulb over here. Where's it at? Where's my bulb? Do, 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 oh, right here. Ten times. Uh, okay, now I got fuel up there. Pull starter rope until the engine attempts to start. Set to half choke. Pull starter rope until the engine starts. Wait ten seconds and set to run. Okay, you have... Full choke is a blue, half choke is a white, and run is a green. So, okay, I don't want to get up because I think you're out of view if I get up. Well, that was impressive. First start. Cool. Okay, now I'm half choke. That's even more impressive. Huh. Wow. You've seen it. Okay, run. Not to, to say I can not love it, go to hating it within a few seconds, but I think I'm going to get some uh, pants on, and I think we got rain coming, so I want to. Oh, well, let's just go look at the yard before I start it. Now you know, last year I used the. Um, <laughs> and I've been gone 12 days. And I just got back. Look at it. Last year, you know, I used that weed whip, gym swing, whatever. But this year, I don't know, I got clover coming up. I mean, it's just too thick this year to do that. And I don't have time. I'm only home two or three days. Um, look how much this has grown up. This wasn't like this when I left. Oh, look at how, you know, out there. Woo. Um, we're definitely going to give this. 30 cc weed whacker a try out so i'm gonna get my pants on or i'm gonna change out of my shorts into my pants <laughs> i guess i better better clarify that look how much that that's just oh that has really grown since there ain't no trees in here so anyway let me go get my pants on i'll be right back
I like a little bit more. I'm, I'm out of gas. It's not a gas. It's still on the same tank. It doesn't have a big tank, I don't think. But it's still on the same tank of gas I started. And it's, I've been running about an hour and a half now through. You've seen this type of stuff. It was a jungle out here. Overall, I'm impressed with it. I've never had a four cycle weed eater before. Um, my, make sure it's all cooled off. This boat uh, did vibrate loose and my guard fell off. So I went and got some, uh, sorry, red Loctite. Put it on there. I don't ever suspect I'll need off. And if I do, you know, worst case scenario, I'll already cut it off, right? Um, I'm really impressed with this line. It looks like baling twine, but it's obviously a lot stiffer. And they give you, I think, uh, 16 feet of it. Uh, I don't know how much is on here. I assume 16 feet. Plus, they give you some more in a package. A couple things. I read the instructions last night. You know, after I put it together and used it, I read the instructions. You are supposed to use the full bottle of oil. Um, it says, uh, you know, obviously check it before every use, but, you know, who does that? Um, get back to life. I'm chasing squirrels here. This stuff is cutting all types of stuff I wouldn't, and it has some kind of core. Maybe a metal core, I don't know, maybe, I don't know. But it's cutting through briars and small saplings. Hold on, let me get you one to show you. Okay, I hope you can see this. That's a briar it cut through. And I'm cutting through, through briars like that regularly. And these little saplings. It's crazy. And, and not just keep on, you know, sometimes you gotta keep on, keep on. It's just why I can ease the first try. And, and I'm not, you know how sometimes your line gets wrapped around them and you got to play tug of war? The only time that's happened is when these have been in grass and I hadn't seen them. And I'd go through about half throttle or quarter throttle or whatever. Uh, that's another thing. It's very quiet compared to two cycle. And it doesn't run at the RPMs. You know, you think a, a um, regular weed eater, two cycle, wham, wham. You know, sometimes you have to hit clumps of grass several times to get not this thing, uh, and all four cycles may be that way. I, I'm, I'm sure they probably are. It just that it, at first, until you're used to it, it doesn't seem like it's running fast enough. But then you're, you know, it seems like you're just barely going. And it's cutting everything. So I've been really impressed. I thought I was had to buy a uh, brush uh, cutter attachment to cut stuff like this, and I don't. I just have to find some more of that line. You watch, I probably won't be able to find that line. That is heck of a line. I like that. It says use only 095. That looks smaller than 095, but hey, I'll use it. So, um, another thing it did say was uh, the oil change intervals uh, 25 hours or annually. So, most, most uses it's going to be annual change the oil in it. Save, save that little bottle. I plan on saving this. Maybe next time I put oil in my generator, which I use Mobile One Synthetic in the generator. Uh, it said you could use 30 weight, 1030 or 1040. Um, I, I'm pretty sure that's what it said. And they said this is 2050. So um, it's kind of confusing me, but uh, I've never went wrong with Mobile One Synthetic. So uh, other than that, the issue, uh, one issue I'm having that's irritating is, and it may be all me, looks like it is, or at least some of it is, is when I go to tap this for more line, I, I really can't tell when that line comes out. You know, um, weed eaters I have before you tap it and you can just hear it. You go, you know, you're the, you can just tell you got more line out. You know, it hits the cutter. Not this. Um, not, not this, I, I can't. And also the uh, torque, what I think is happening, you see this keeps your, this little thing right here, um, tab, button, keeps it from turning or it's supposed to. But I, I think when I'm hitting it, 
it's jarring it enough to get up under here and then the torque twists my shaft and that's irritating and I have to come back and find that button again it's kind of a lot of play in there I think I've tightened this up as tight as I dare to it's this is plastic that obviously the look like a quarter inch bolt isn't but you know um, I say that and then here I go tighten it needs some more but um, I just didn't want to snap this piece of plastic off or strip the threads out I imagine eventually I'll have to put another bolt and um, thread and stuff on there and I'm fine with it as long as this thing runs the way it has been running I am very impressed with it so um, 200 bucks I feel I feel I got my money's worth now this is obviously the only first use but you've seen the type of stuff I had to cut and it's well let me just take you out of the holder it's taking me I'm messing with the camera and all it's taking me maybe a little over an hour you know I got that yesterday afternoon when I got home with it and then it started getting cloudy and sprinkling so I stopped I've done all this other um I still got some down in there some back over there but I've done this rest of this on about an hour and maybe an hour and a half playing with the camera and all I mean it's just uh, I got some more back over there to do but wow this thing is this thing is uh I went a ways up there cutting brush to see how big a brush I could cut and again I'm impressed with it so there you have it I, I have to say that, uh, you know, they're not paying me to do this review or any review. However, if they want to, okay, Black Max, Walmart, I don't know, you know, they always open to offers. But, fortunately, this time, this 200 bucks was my 200 bucks I earned. And I'm happy with it. Um, like I said, it's just... I, I just hope I can find that line when I go back to get more. But like I said, uh, they say use 16 feet to wind it on there. I'm still on this part. I had a Echo one time. That was basically the same thing. You had to use 18 feet. And uh, it would last almost all season. But this line, this line I'm loving this line. Um, does also tell you in the instruction manual after... 25 hours or something like that to adjust the um, valve lash or something. Tell you how. And uh, which that instruction manual is very good. I, I love it. Um, most of them won't tell you that. Most of them say, take to an authorized repair shop or authorized dealer or something. Well, it come from Walmart. Um, but it tells you how to do it, watch you take off and all that. Probably at the end of the season or beginning next spring, I'll do it and I'll bring y'all back along. And I'll just give you a one year update like I do on a lot of my stuff. So, um, because this unboxing, this, these unboxing videos and all that, that's all well and fine, but I wanna know how it works down the road. So, you know, if this thing breaks down tomorrow, then it's not worth 200 bucks. But if it keeps doing like this, this should save me a ton of time. A uh, lot more grass here this year. Uh, I assume every you know, bunch of clover. The birds must have brought, been eating a lot of clover someplace and brought it over my place. Um, I'm getting a lot of different grasses and weeds in here, and it, it's just getting thicker every year because now it's getting sunlight. But like I said, this is going on my third year. Um, got my hummingbird feeder, one of them up. And the bees are competing with the hunting hummingbirds, and I don't. I think all they're getting is what drips off the hummingbird's beak. But what's odd, and I've never seen this in three years I've been here, the bees will run hummingbirds off, just like a hummingbird will run another one off. I see bees kind of chasing them, and they'll go back, and hummingbird comes back and they'll chase them. I'm like, I've never seen that before, so that's pretty cool. Um, I keep watching to see which way the bees go. I think there is a bee tree here someplace every spring I seem to hear it and I've walked, walked these woods looking for it. it it's just one of those sounds that just seems to come from all around you 
I've walked down here, I walked down here, I walked over here, I walked around that old house thinking, eh, maybe they in the attic someplace. Uh, now, the only other place I haven't, and I think I've heard them before, is up in here. So, I need to put my bee trap out, but I just haven't got around to doing that. So, probably won't happen now. So, or this stretch. So, anyway, I rambled long, long enough. If you're just looking good weed eater, you don't want to max, max the gas on. That's a four cycle. You just put the motor, just like your car or lawnmower, you don't have to mix the gas or generator. That's one reason I got it, so I wouldn't have to mix it. You have to mix it for my chainsaw. But since I had such uh, good performance out of that Black Max chainsaw, and by the way, I've now noticed they have a 38cc, I think it's 38cc 20 inch. Might have to get that one been wanting a bigger saw so um anyway i like it right now um you know, i've used it you see how much i used it so anyway i'm gonna get off here i'll probably cut a bunch of this out maybe maybe not who knows i'm lazy